Hey guys, Luke here from Apollo. So riding an electric scooter can be a lot of fun, but repairs and maintenance, a lot less so. It's easy to forget, but it's one of the most important parts of owning a scooter. We know electric scooters go through a ton of wear and tear, from city streets to rough terrain and everything in between. It's no fun to have the scooter fixed not long after receiving it, but don't worry, I've got some awesome news for you. With a little TLC, you can keep your scooter cruising and avoid those costly repair bills. Now, as Apollo's leading scooterologist, first and foremost is keeping your scooter clean. Chances are over time, your scooter's built some dirt and debris in places you may not even think about. That's why we recommend you thoroughly clean your scooter every couple hundred kilometers. Now, I recommend you use two towels, one to wipe away the dirt and one to clean. And don't be afraid to even pull out an old toothbrush to hit those hard to reach places. For the cleaning solution, you can just use some all-purpose cleaner that you can find in your house. A quick cleaning should only take about 10 to 15 minutes, and it's a great habit to get into to keep your scooter looking clean and riding smooth for a long time. Now to not experience your own deflate gate, we're looking at you, Tom Brady. We need to make sure our tires are properly inflated. The tire pressure rating for most of our scooters is 50 PSI. However, that number can vary depending on your model. So be sure to check the pressure reading on the side of your tire. Now the air is gonna be 36 PSI, the City 21 and 22 are gonna be 45 PSI, and the Explore, Ghost, and Phantom are gonna be 50. To get started, simply place your scooter on a bench, chair, or box, making sure the wheels and valves are easily accessible, then locate the air valve, remove the safety cap, and then you wanna screw the pump onto the valve. Next, we'll pump the inner tuber tire up. What I like to do is pump it to about 5 PSI over so that we don't end up below the mark when removing the pump. Now, if you do end up overinflating your tires or tubes, you can simply push on the release valve in the center to remove air. And just like that, we'll screw the safety cap back on and repeat the process on the other wheel. Now, if you start to feel some friction, add more lube. When riding, of course. When you first got your scooter, it was in pristine condition and was riding like a dream. But now that you've put a few hundred miles on it, it's starting to sound like it's got some old bones. No worries though, we're gonna fix that. I recommend using a lithium-based lubricant because of its resistance to water and high temperatures, as well as preventing rust and corrosion. Now for the Apollo City, you'll primarily want to lubricate the suspension and suspension arms. On the air, we'll want to focus on the front forks, Lastly, for the Ghost and Phantom, we'll want to lubricate the front and rear suspensions as well as the suspension arms. Now tip number four, which is often overlooked, is to make sure all of the scooter's screws are tight and secure. As you ride, vibrations from usage can loosen screws over time. That's why you should check your screws at least every 50 kilometers or so to ensure they're nice and tight. I also suggest using a bit of blue Loctite on key screws and nuts, but be careful, a little goes a long way. And once it's on there, the screw will be tough to remove. Now the most critical screws to keep in mind are first and foremost, the wheel nuts, the suspension screws, throttle line brake screws, and lastly, the folding mechanism to make sure every ride is safe. Now for the Ghost and Phantom, you can even check the caliper screws to make sure they're working properly. Now for tip number five, we're gonna go over brakes. Good braking is an essential part of a safe and enjoyable ride. Be sure to regularly clean and adjust your brakes so that you can always stop on a dime. Before each ride, it's good to perform a thorough visual check of your brakes to ensure that everything is in the proper position. Then make sure they're working correctly as well. Even if your brakes are running smoothly, it's always good to play it safe by booking a regular brake service every 500 kilometers or so. Additionally, the user manual can be consulted to see what the recommended maintenance schedule is for each model. However, if you wanna maintain your scooter brakes yourself, we do have in-depth videos for drum brakes, hydraulic brakes, and disc brakes on our YouTube channel. Riding smart and avoiding damage is the best way to keep your scooter on the road and out of the repair shop. And remember, each of our scooters are designed for different purposes, so it's best to use your scooter as intended. If you have any tips on what riders can do themselves to keep their scooters in good condition between tune-ups, let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching, guys, and as always, ride safe.